What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it. Hungover Darius. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. We are here with Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 18. As you can see, we are watching this live on Twitch. Immaculate vibes. Come on over in the future. Say what's up. I'm very excited to continue this. Shibuya has been, uh, has been Shibuya. That's all I can say. Especially with how it ended with a certain Dapper man. I have his sword and his figure behind me. I low-key might grab them to fit thematically into this episode. I also am wearing this specifically so I can hopefully see these women especially this woman today. But before we get into anything, remember to check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. We do have a Q&A section question. If you guys don't know, I have a Q&A section on the Discord where you guys can ask me anything. I'll try to answer at least one before every episode of every show. Um, this one is also from Quagmire. Thank you always for asking your questions. He asks for JJK. He says, if you were born a curse, what kind of curse ability would you want to have? Also, who is your favorite character in JJK so far? His is Mahito. You're crazy for that one crazy for that one but great question if i was a curse and my hmm i've always said this in terms of powers that i would want to see more developed at least on like a little bit more of a creative level is hedon's power from naruto i'm not going to spoil anything about hedon's character but it's his power it's not really that big of a spoiler his power is if whatever damage you inflict on him or he inflicts on himself also goes to whatever person he puts in his little ritual so I would do that to a certain extent in which any pain that's directed towards me, whether it's emotional, mental, physical, I'm able to direct towards anyone else. And you guys would be able to like, for example, Jogo Dagon and his anger at Naobito not recognizing the names of the other curses and being upset with that. Like, I'll make you feel that like I don't hit you with that emotional weight. It uh, sounds kind of cringy, but I feel like it could work on some Hedon ship. Thank you so much, Quagmire, for the question. Also, my favorite character. I'm hoping everything works out is Nanami. I love that boy. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you with that 7 to 10 ratio. You really don't know. Um, but thank you so much for the question, Quagmire. We have another question here. They ask, how do you feel about the complexity of JJK's power systems compared to most series? It tends to make it harder for most people to understand everything in one go, and some never bother to understand it at all. Do you think the show benefits from its complexity or suffers from it? um also great question thank you so much for asking i'm of the opinion some people og dapper squad members will know some people don't i'm of the opinion that hunter hunter has the nen has the best power system in all of anime um because it can so easily be translated into all other animes and every power in almost every anime can be explained through the power of nen and seeing as how jj gay gay i'm not sure how to pronounce the name and curse energy seems like a direct derivative of nen just in more of this jjk kind of fashion i love it immensely i do wish we could get a little more complex in terms of the training on how they like in my opinion the training montages in hunter hunter how they use their nen or their curse energy specifically and how they can change and alter that like i love that so much i would love a little more in-depthness but in terms of the power system in its entirety I love the fact that we have packs. I love the fact that there's an in-show reason as to why we say our techniques and they become stronger. I love, there's a whole lot of, I love the heavenly restrictions, all that. I'm a huge fan of the complexity. I wish there was more. Once we get to like Naobito level powers and shit, I can see why people have struggle and I can see why people are upset, but I love it personally. Great question. Like always, thank you guys for asking questions. Feel free to always do that in the Discord. Other than that, I'm not going to waste any more time. Like I said, leave a like. Let me know your comments in that comment section down below. Let's not waste any more time. Hop right into today's episode. JJK, Season 2, Episode 18. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I love how he's going through many conversations and discussions he's had throughout even his grandpa, season one, about the things, yeah. I don't want to pause it within the first 10 seconds of the episode. I so am sorry. But the fact that if he died in season one, or if he didn't go on this journey to eat all of these Sakuna fingers, like he wanted to be the hero. You know, if he had just died off rip, so many more people would have been saved. None of this would have happened. So I firmly understand the grief and, and guilt he's going through. And he's going to push forward and keep doing great things. But it's like, with his fingers still just so bloody after the scraping. With the white noise in the background. Like, I love hearing Megumi in there and Gramps. Not Sukuna. Shout out Nobara. As the white noise seems like it's getting louder. Yeah, 
This episode is called Right and Wrong, I'm pretty sure for a reason. <laughs> Sukun up. As the white noise completely cuts out, every oh, everything I got goosebumps right now. Everything going on in his mind. Oh, see, I'm gonna go through that opening. I'm gonna pick up on everything when I'm done with this arc. What are we looking at? I'm about to say, are we back in Dagon's domain? What are we looking at? What's up, you beautiful man? Oh my god. I got literal goosebumps all over from how beautiful that shot is. Him just walking on his beach. I don't know what's going on, but honestly, bud, you deserve a... You deserve a vacation. You deserve a beautiful fucking coconut Mai Tai on the beach, man. Oh, see, this is what I was expecting. Is this what he's... Is he, like, picturing walking on the beach while he's doing, like... like what is going on? Fucking Two Face Gus Fring, my boy. I feel so bad. Why is he just chilling in a photo booth? Don't I swear to God, Mahito, if you get revenge from season one, it... nah, I'm just, I'm just gonna. Oh my God, his hair is burned off his scalp. His eye is gone. He's just thinking he's just on this beautiful beach. He looks out at. Is that what he's picturing? Wonton? Is that the name of a beach? The way they're starting this. I don't I don't like the way this is this is vibing with me right now. The water being as beautiful as it is? You need to. That boy Megumi needs you. I mean completely un with the the pianos in the background what's going on you've done more than enough with the piano it's so beautiful man as that sword transitions to that handkerchief oh as he's dancing on the beach but the song is beautiful man Man's on the Kwantan Beach in Malaysia. I love the way they cut from this and are visualizing this, man. I have a feeling this is how he's going to go out, though, and I don't want this at all. Oh, they animated this beautifully. Bro, he deserves all this and more. Secluded house on the beach that he can read at? Bro, the music is hitting me. Even in this state, bro, he's able to take out. I know they're just the transfigured humans and shit. Oh, does Yuji get to run into him? Can he help my boy? He's fighting with every last inch of strength he has. Bro, if Nanami doesn't go down in the. Willpower alum? I don't know, man. Come on. Yuji? Don't make Yuji see this on some Game of Thrones shit. I will be heated. I swear to God. Of course, he brings up high bar, man. R.I.P. Does he get to see high bar? And my told him, to, oh, don't do it, bro. Um. I don't know what to say, man. Wow. 
I need a fucking. I need to recollect. I need to reconvene. All I know is Mahito. I don't even know Quagmire. How you can say Mahito is your favorite character. I want him to have the most brutal death I've seen in anime. You see his hand with the sword still just sitting there. I'm lightheaded again, bro. As the music just kicks in the fucking overdrive. Bro, he looks like scared. Like, he, do he doesn't even look angry. He looks griefing trying to. F I want this to be super just energy intensive, just insane, but I I'm still griefing. Mahito is so swaggy with, the with that transfiguration. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my wa oreda. Ichichi kiren na yo. No. So it's o mitome na kangi. Oh my wa ore ni kate na yo. The difference of mindsets. He does talk a lot. That is Mahito. Oh, I'm cool and collected. I'm glad we're thinking of the, everything Nanami would say, all his words, his piece of wisdom advice over the years. I mean, over the year, not even the year for like the six months. I love the scenery with the transfigured wall in the background. This gives me like Choso Yuji vibes, how they would walk up, gauge each other on some square up shit. I love the song when they play it. Ooh. The Dark Curse energy versus Yuji's blue as it just keeps tunneling and tunneling even more and getting thinner and thinner. What is our what is our end game right here? What's our goal? Oh my I don't care if this is a one foot by one foot little square. Yuji whoop his ass. Yeah, get out of this entrapment, please. That was insanely well handled. Oh my god. I love Mahito's creativity with the transfiguration. It's so... As the wall can generate a hand that can catch you. Pretty much has this as a playground of... Bro, Yuji is fucking calm, cool, and collected right now. They both generate punch their own hole out of there. Oh. That's, oh. He's creating a little hand cannon, literally. Bro, I'm telling you, his creativity knows no bounds. As he's zooming towards us. Bro, he is so broken. Oh my god. We're already in that elevator. Let's get the fuck out of here. He was ready. Timing wise, perfect. Oh my god. As soon as it caved in, punches it out. I've been waiting on this fight for so long. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love that. How he's able to contort his body in any which way he wants. The creativity of the choreography is really what's getting me this episode. This man might as well be a Logia. Smart, smart. He, he has his own transfigured elevator. They are snapping. He's still gauging the depths of Yuji's power and stuff like that. I know. That's what I'm saying. Mahito has the potential like Choso. Like he's so strong, it's not even funny. He's still getting used to his powers. What? There's no way these are real people that would made it down this far. Is he going to use these real people as bait? Are these real people real? I don't think he can transfer with sentiency and stuff like that. The depth of his power. What? 
So those were real people. He just fucking... Tournament with sword. It is, and that's why you're deranged for that. And then he just... Oh! He can literally... I mean, bro, the depths of his powers amaze me every time I see him. And he can literally talk to himself in full sentience capabilities. You have two Mahito fights? Nobara? You beautiful woman. Yeah, everyone was talking about that. The one person who hasn't had a moment this arc so far is Nobara. But she really doesn't know the depth of his powers. Yes. Good thinking right there, but... That Black Flash at the end of Season 1? Start going crazy. Ooh, she embedded them with her feet. I love that kick. Oh, as they go through with the hairpin. You know, that's not enough for Mahito, but no Bara. Is that the other ace up his sleeve he has? Because his clone is currently fighting no bro. That episode went by in like 30 seconds. So I don't think we can start this episode or discuss this episode without giving an absolute official RIP to... Like it, it really does sadden me saying this because this man... Like Gojo is the like swaggy, he is the dude of JJK, but Nanami was so close as a second. He was like right there with bro. I love Nanami so much. His backstory on his corporate life and why he thinks local bakeries are more important and more needed in society bro he was just a rare soul and before i start crying again thinking about it i gotta give the honorary r.i.p anonymy anonymy son i'm gonna start fucking crying thinking about it but you <laughs> ever since haibara you became the teacher you and haibara needed during that time to the younger generation to me very reminiscent of Mike guy where you would lay down your life in half a second when it comes to protecting that next generation. And that's that's commendable, you know, that's respectable. Huge shout out to Nanami. You will forever be ingrained in my heart. Or crying again, just thinking about it, but amazing episode. I love the send off you got. Thinking of that Kuantan beach in Malaysia with his secluded beach house with the books he's gathered over the years, you know. Ooh, but huge shout out to Nanami. I'm going to miss you, bud, immensely. I've got to say, for them to do us dirty with that beautiful moment into immediately into another breakneck, intense, balls of the wall fight, like that's like the one breather we get. And the breather is like the saddest breather. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Akutani, I don't know how you can do it. This, this Shibuya arc is, it's different. It's different. I need to definitely process some things, recollect some thoughts. I'm so I love the choreography between Mahito and Yuji going on right now. I love the the how his powers are exponentially getting stronger and his creativity with them. I love how he can clone himself and now he's fighting Nobara and Yuji at the same time. I, I don't know how this is gonna go. I am absolutely praying nothing happens to any of our main squad. Nobara, Yuji, no, <laughs> I've already had enough pain. You guys didn't know but thank you so much for watching thank you so much zeno and quagmire for the questions thank you for being live with me vibing happy thanksgiving especially after this episode make sure you guys tell someone you love them today give them a hug you never know what might happen mahito might appear but uh thank you guys immensely check out that patreon for the full length everything uh make sure you leave a like on this video i'll catch you next week on that on that jjk guys i appreciate you peace out